We are sitting in a B-17G bomber that was built back in 1944. It's called the Flying Fortress. There were about 12,700 of these airplanes made. There's probably about seven or eight of them flying nowadays. This was a high altitude bomber. It went deep into the heart of Germany and other places and uh, did most of the bombing that occurred during World War II. Completely different world. This is uh, old school technology. You look at all this, there's a bunch of what we call round dials and big radio motors out here that make a lot of noise and have a lot of oil dripping out of them. This is just old school, how they did it back in the old days. Um, the stuff I do, I fly 757s to Hawaii. And uh, we fly very high altitude, very fast, and basically the plane's pretty much an autopilot. There is no autopilot on this one. There was when it was flying in the war, but it's been disconnected at this point. We hand fly everything. So it's, it's a treat for us. This is a lot of fun. This is how we kind of get our kicks from doing a job like that. Most of the guys who do this are either retired airline guys or with the airlines now. Ray Hobbs, and I was a B-17 pilot in World War II, and I'm grateful for being able to serve our country. As, uh, the little bit that I did do, well, uh, I'm thankful for, and it's, it's good to come out here and uh, renew acquaintances with the B-17, you might say. Uh, they're very fond of the B-17. have pictures of plenty of pictures. My wife says, who do you love more, me or the B-17? And I've been married just about 60. Next month will be 67 years. So I told her, well, I think that answers the question.